Welcome back to another episode of Grand Gardens. In this week's episode, we take a look at one of the most innovative and efficient drain system out there. This is St. Patrick's Estate. Between 1889 and 1995, this site was operated as a seminary by the Catholic Church. The estate lies on a prominent hill and at the bottom of the northern slopes lies Montpelier Estate. As you can imagine, this caused problems for residents who experienced consistent flooding over the years. It required a complex solution that not only solved the drainage issues but retained the natural form and existing vegetation. Today, we have Dan and Baba Jide, who are two landscaping experts who will take us through the solutions. Hey guys, I'm Dan, and today we're going to be looking at the water management at the top of the northern slopes. This here is a sway on the eastern side of the northern slopes. It starts right at the bottom of those suspended stairs and comes right down along the path to the main stairway down there. What a swale does is collect all of the rain of water from this slope, taking it right down here and channeling it over there, to keeping it away from the residential housing over there. This is the first layer of defense for the housing. If you take a closer look over there, the engineer has designed something quite special. This is the second line of defense when there is an extended swale entirely constructed. It makes sure any excess water is kept away from that housing. From here, the water is directed down the rocky slope and away from the housing. Now we're on the western side of the northern slopes. As you can see, the land here is kept quite natural since the engineers and landscape architects didn't need to consider any housing. Along with this, they've designed an amazing system to control the water. But unlike the other side, this one's rocky and called a riprap. And what it does is take all the water from this slope, filters it and takes it right down to the end of the swale. You might be wondering, what about all the water that comes down the stairs? Well, what we have here is called a trench grate. And what it does is carry all the water from the stairs and take it right down to this pit. From here, the water is taken right down underneath the stairs, collecting the water from these trenches and taking it to this pit. From here, the water is dispersed out to these bushes through this head wall. I want you guys to consider how all the vegetation has been considered whilst the water has been kept away from the housing. This is just one half of the drainage solution. Here we are at the halfway point of the drainage system. My name is Baba Jide. As you can see, the eastern and western swales have been kept separate. Like the previous staircase, both swales run down either side. Once again, the designers have used riprap in both swales to prevent the erosion of the swale and bank over time. If you look over here, these trench grates have been added at the regular intervals. They pick up water and direct it into the western swale. I'm sorry, I, I don't know if you can understand my English. Huh? I will try and say it a bit clearer. When das Wasser den Boden der Treppe erreicht, es sammelt sich in dieser Rückhaltbecken, dann es flusst aus das Tor. Unter uns. An Unterbodenlinie fängt Wasser ein. Es läuft in dieses Richtung. Das Wasser gibt es ab und bewässert dieses Paperbox. Hier können Sie bemerken einen Buckel auf der Straße. Unter da liegt eine Brücke 
und es transportiert das übrige Wasser an diese Seite. Wenn diese Paperbox bewässert wurde, das Wasser tritt in einen unterboden Regenwassertank, der oben am Hang zu bewässert verwendet wird. Dann beginnt das Zyklus aufs Neue. As Dan and Babajide have shown, the new drainage system for the northern slope is quite sustainable. Overall, the system has been a brilliant solution to a difficult problem. That's all we have time to today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.